Well, the sign says the Bible is criticized most by those who read it least. Let's see what this sign says. This sign says the Bible contains the vitamins for a healthy soul. Well, that's nice. But, um, yeah, it's both of these are really heavy on the Bible. And, um, well, that's good for those of them that still need the Bible. But for those that have come to the understanding that the Bible is in our hearts. I don't want to say nothing negative about the Bible, but I can tell you this. If you were to do your research and really understand where did the King James Version come from and what was way before the King James, you would find that the Christ story is ancient. You'll find that the story of religion itself is ancient. It's been done away with and brought back and done away again and then brought back and boy they got it now where there's 80 different kinds of Baptist churches there's it just goes on this here is a church of Christ and there's different kinds of church of Christ many of them the, the religious church world is so fragmented I'm not saying don't go I'm not saying don't read the Bible I'm saying think with an open mind a parachute will not work if it's not opened. Understanding the Bible is like a parachute. You throw that some bitch up and you ask God to catch it, it's going to hit the ground. You don't want to hit the ground. When things get bad and things are going to get bad, disclosure is coming out about a lot of things that have been under control of some evil intended Satan Luciferian type people that have got an agenda it's the Armageddon agenda that's straight out of the Bible that says it has to happen before he comes well he's already come in my mind my heart and my soul and I'm not waiting on another coming of the Christ the one that is the one that I am is connected to the one that is we we know as father creator source of all things God religion put God in place as a man sitting on a cloud with a beard making harsh rules over his children on this thing called a spinning planet I'm here to tell you even that concept is being disclosed every day there's a new way of seeing what this reality is it's not what we think it is it's not what we've been told there's multi layers of dimensional reality all happening intermingling at the same time it gives you the right to either have power or not and the ones that don't want you to have power are real happy to give you the Bible they're real happy to give you church and keep you actually under the thumb of some kind of control system like money, jobs, educating systems. It's all a control system given to us by the ones that are dominating the information about the ancient evidence of multiple crises multiple Bibles, multiple beginnings and stoppings of society and civilization. When the story, it's the greatest story ever been hidden and it goes right through the truth. And, it, and it, so there's a lot of good things in the Bible. When I first woke up, I walked through the Bible with the help of the Holy Spirit probably and the higher self of, of consciousness that I know to be me that's all if you see it you see me I am if we could all just get to just that simple teaching of what Christ said at the Sermon on the Mount love 
each other as you love yourself because if you judge someone, you're judging yourself. If you love someone, you're loving yourself. But if you hurt someone else, you're hurting yourself. It's because we are each other. And each other is the reflection of the one. And the one has been confused by the compondrance of the evidence of the foundation of religion. So, yeah, the Bible contains vitamins for, the, for your healthy soul, but also reading other books that talk about how the Bible was given to us will open you up. Yeah, and if, if it makes you come out of religion, that's what the church don't want. They want Sundays to be plentiful with people. Well, let me say it like this, and then I got to go. Because this might piss a lot of people off. But a woman told me just a few weeks ago in a conversation that the Bible was good. The church was good. And what I was expressing to her was, is it ever going to change? And she said, it doesn't need to change. She said, the church is for the sinners. And, and I had to go, yeah. Uh, that's, that's a difficult way to put it. But yeah, until your mind understands what even the word sin is and what the actual meaning and definition and how the word of the lexicon of the, the simplest understanding of where words come from and sentences and phrases <laughs> the Phoenician side of everything that keeps us trapped in this tongue trying to use these these words that are powerful and controlled and don't even have the meaning that we think it has we give it the meaning we give the world the meaning that it has on a daily basis I gotta go people I'm wound up.